depressurization and pressurization of a hydraulic reservoir. You can depressurize each hydraulic reservoir independently. Let's take the blue hydraulic system. Here is the blue reservoir access door. Open the blue ground service panel. Don't forget to open, safety and tag the circuit breakers. To depressurize the hydraulic reservoir, we can use a ground equipment or not. If not, on the ground service panel, turn the cap assembly of the reservoir depressurization valve clockwise through 90 degrees. Pay attention. Protect your hands and face from the air which comes out when you open the manual depressurization valve of the reservoirs. It is possible that the air can be hot and contain hydraulic fluid. Listen to hear if all of the air has been released. The pressure drops down, as you can see on the air pressure gauge of the reservoir. Keep the depressurization valve open if it is necessary to depressurize a reservoir during a maintenance operation. This prevents accidental pressurization of a reservoir. The depressurization valve is closed when the maintenance operation is completed. To pressurize the reservoir again, make sure that the depressurization valve is closed. Note that the reservoirs are pressurized through the air pressurization manifold. They are thus pressurized at the same time. Open the blue hydraulic compartment door to get access to the air pressurization manifold. Remove the cap from the ground connector. Connect the pressurizing tool to the ground connector. Now turn the nut to open the ground connector. Fill the reservoir with air until 50 pounds per square inch is shown on the reservoir pressure gauge. Turn the nut to close the ground connector. Remove the pressurizing tool. Install the cap on the ground connector. Close the circuit breakers.
Make sure that the work area is clean and clear of tools and other items and that all access panels are closed.